Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add your Gmail account to your Outlook account. So that way you can check both of your accounts from one location here. So we have this one user. He is Todd Sims at Outlook.com. And he also has a Todd Sims 007 at gmail.com email address. So we want to kind of merge the two so we can check them all from one place. So if you're an Outlook user, you know, Outlook web user that is, you might have noticed there's this other little envelope here. You have your regular mail, calendar, contacts, icons, and you have this one right here. And you could click on it to add a Gmail account. So that's what we're going to do. And so if you have more than one account, it's going to probably pop them up here. Or you could pick one or add another one if it's not showing up in the list. So we want to use this one here. And it's just telling you that Microsoft will do all these things, be able to read your email, uh, look at your Google Drive, and downloads, and calendar items. So I can click on Allow. Okay, so now we have the uh, Google Mail here. So the security alert saying that Microsoft was granted access to it. And let's see what we have here for the inbox. And then, and then we'll compare it to the inbox here. So what it's going to do, so notice how we have this target email here, but we don't have it in our inbox here. But that's probably because it's under promotions, which is that right there. Let me uncheck these. Spring home event. Spring home event. So one thing you have to keep in mind if you open your uh, Gmail emails in your Outlook is you're not going to have all your different sections like social promotions and updates. And even in Gmail, you could turn these off so everything goes into your inbox. So you know, that's one, one downside, I guess, if you like having these uh, different categories here. And so now you'll notice that we have a Google thing right here for Gmail. And then you can switch back here. And then you have your uh, Outlook. So it switches back and forth. But one thing I don't like is how it opens it in a new window rather than just letting you, you know, toggle in between them. But I guess you can't have everything. So at least that way you could have your email in both, or actually both emails in one section. So uh, if you want to, like I said, give it a shot. Just You'll just click on that extra um, email icon with the plus there, give it permission to your Gmail account, and then you'll have all of your email in one location. Uh, one other thing I want to mention too is in case you change your mind and you don't want to use this anymore, uh, you could go to your settings. Just be sure you're on your uh, Outlook account, not your Gmail, because the settings will be different. So click on the gear icon here. View all Outlook settings. Then go to premium, because you're not going to have premium in your Gmail account. And then this additional mailboxes. If you click on delete here, delete from device, delete from all devices. Let's just delete from this device, because we only have it on the one. And then I shouldn't have to click save. Just close out. And now we're back to uh, Outlook only with the little plus uh, envelope to add Gmail again. So pretty simple to get rid of if you change your mind and you don't like it. All right, so if you want to add your Gmail to your Outlook, you could give that a shot and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.